You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. And some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you in another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Case Path. So anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alrighty. What, are you telling me to play tennis just for fun? Not just for fun, but it's still fun. I wouldn't play it if I didn't like it. I like it because I have fun when I'm playing. I have fun when I'm playing because I'm good enough to add it to have fun. Huh? That? I can't wrap my head around it. It just sounds like a huge contradiction. It makes no sense in my head. No, not only that. Something about me really something about me really rubs me the wrong way. Something in my head wants to reject this idea with every fiber of my body. What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? Just forget it. Let's just get this damn thing done with so I can get back to my practice. Right, just try not to look like that in front of the rookies. You might scare them off. I take a few deep breaths, massaging my cheeks and the other muscles on my face to try and get them to ease up a bit. Jeez, why did it get so tense all of a sudden? This should be better. It's good enough. Come on! Saya-chan grabs me by the wrist, pulling me along to the other side of the building where Coach is talking directly to a group of five or so rookies. Since I usually like, pra like to practice on my own without being disturbed, I tend to always use one of the courts by the corners of the building, making the walk just a tad bit longer. Just then, the sound of a long, drawn-out sigh nearby catches my attention, and I turn my head to look for it. I see Case Cam on one of the courts, shooting a few serves in quick succession. And for some reason, he's making a lot more faults than usual. Case Cam barely ever faults during his serve, so just seeing him do it three times in a row followed by a groan is enough to make me frown. That's odd. Sai chan seems to have noticed it as well, coming, into a, coming to a momentary stop before stealing an obvious glance in Case Cam's direction. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. His accuracy and technique are some of his specialties. See him make so many mistakes like this isn't normal. She nods, her gaze lingering on Keisuke for a, for a few moments before she makes before she shakes her head, tugging on my wrist once again. I'm sure he's probably just a bit stressed right now. He'll get it right once he calms down a little. That's... I don't want to say that that's untrue because... yeah. Keisuke's temper and how easily he's thrown off his game is definitely one of his most glaring weaknesses. But at the same time... Check on Keisuke. I pull my wrist away from Sai-chan's grasp, which proves to be easy enough since she's not really clutching onto me. Sorry, Sai-chan, can you give me a second? Huh? I want to go check on Keisuke. It's really weird for him to be missing like that. I want to make sure he's doing all right. That's weird. You don't usually show any interest in other people's practice at all. That's not true. Oh yeah? Quick, what's the first thing I get to What's the first thing I get to work on after I finish warming up for practice? What? How am I supposed to know that? Because I've been doing the exact same thing for 5 years now. I do cone dash intervals for 15 minutes to work on my stamina. You do? I thought you just had naturally high stamina. I do have good stamina, but that doesn't mean I don't still train it, you blockhead. Wow, I never knew that. I mean, ever since we were kids, Sai Chen was always someone who could do a full day of practice and then run circles around me while I sat down trying to catch my breath. I never even stopped to consider that she would willingly work on improving her stamina. Which, now that I think about it, is such a stupid thing for me to even think. I feel stupid. You should! Okay, fine. Maybe I don't pay as much attention to other people's training as I should. It doesn't mean I can't still want to help Keisuke now. I didn't say that you couldn't. I just said that it's weird. Besides, can't you do that later? Coach is waiting for us right now. The rookies can't really keep practicing until you help them. I take another good look at Keikun. I can't really see his face from here because his back is turned to us, but... I don't really know why, but his body language is screaming stress to me right now. I wonder when I did... Under, when did I become so good at picking up on these kinds of things with him? <laughs> Sorry, Sai Chen. It, it, will, it won't take too long, I promise. What? But... I carefully approach Keisuke, not wanting to spook him when he's already stressed out and absorbed in something else. God knows I don't need a reflexive whack to the head from a tennis racket right now. Um, hey there. Keisuke turns his head towards me, his eyes dipping low for a second before a spark of recognition goes through his face. Imichimai, senpai. Every time Keisuke calls me this way, it makes my skin crawl a little bit. I've never been fond of overly stuffy titles and stuff like that, so having people go around calling me senpai isn't exactly something I enjoy. But he always insists that he should sh that he should show respect for his seniors whenever we're at the club. One second, y'all. Water time. Oh, let me say real quick. Okay. God, when I walked in, it was almost eight. It was 78 degrees in the house, and the air conditioner was off, so I'm cooling things down right now. Blah. I have to bite my tongue every single time this happens. I've had over a year to get used to it, and I still never have. And if that's at all possible, now that we're dating, it just feels even worse. You doing okay there? You look like you were struggling a bit. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit distracted. My head's just not in it today. How come? This isn't like you. I'm allowed to have an off day once in a while. 
I didn't say you weren't. I just said it wasn't like you. Fair enough. I'm just struggling with something band-related. The band? Yeah, Ichigo, Ichigo-san asked me to compose a new song for them to perform during that competition they're taking part in. But I'm drawing a serious blank. How come? Didn't you say before you had a lot of songs you were working on? I did. I tried showing them a few demos I had recorded. They shot them all down. Oh, that's harsh. How come? So they weren't genuine enough. That's rich coming from people who wouldn't even have original songs if it weren't for him. They all kept saying that the previous song was good because the lyrics felt genuine and emotional and that the new demos are just whatever. How about you tell them to fuck off? I have a little more tact than that, you know. They're being assholes, though. They can go take a hike. I wonder about that. What? You're just gonna go along with it? It's not like arguing about it will change anything. The demos will still be rejected. You put it that way. I just have to figure something out. Why don't you just put that aside and focus on tennis for now? Oh gee, what a simple solution. I wonder why I didn't think of that. I'm not the one you're angry at, don't sass me. You don't think I'm trying to put it aside? Come on, if it weren't that simple, I'd have done it already. Hmm, I don't really have any words to argue with that point. I feel like I should do something about it, but I, but I don't want, but I don't know what. I look towards the direction Saiyan and the others have been in. My eyes immediately meet with coaches, who's staring right at me while, take, while talking to the rookies. At least none of the other members are looking in my direction, but sheesh, I just felt a shiver run down my spine. Sorry, Saiyan, I think I'll have to postpone helping you guys like you asked. How about I help you out? Want to practice with me? Really? You don't usually offer yourself. Most of the time, I have to chase you down. I know, maybe if I help you out, you'll be able to focus better. Huh. I'm not so sure about that, but I do appreciate the offer. I guess I'll take you up on it if it's truly alright. Of course it is. I wouldn't be offering it if it wasn't. Thank you, Majimaya senpai Yeah, please stop calling me that. No can do. Sorry. Fine, I'll just go to the other side of the net. Let's practice some rallies for a bit. A few hours later. Ah, I think I overdid it today. Hakim kept insisting we play one more game and it seemed to keep dragging forever. The soles of my feet are killing me right now. I take off my shirt, making sure to stand a little, little ways away from the other member at a members at a corner, keeping my back turned to everyone else. I don't want to see any naked guys around here, now more than ever. Grabbing my towel, I wipe the excess sweat from my chest, ne from my chest, neck, forehead, and any other areas that might be problematic, making sure to rub myself with some deodorizing oil I bought specifically for my fur. It both keeps me from smelling ripe on my way home, as well as, as well as helping keep the skin underneath from drying out due to my overly puffy fur. I take a quick whiff of my shirt, wanting to check just how bad it is right now. Gross, and it's soaking wet, too. A sigh echoes from behind me. When I turn around, I see Keisuke dropping his bag right next to me. Ah, you can stand again. Of course I can. And by the way, leaving all by myself, leaving all by myself lying on the floor was just cruel. Sorry. It's fine. Today was a learning experience. You know, you're being a lot more mellow than usual. How so? I mean, you don't really seem like the same, like the same guy who punched a locker in front of me a couple months ago just because you lost a lost a bunch. Just because you lost a bunch. Hmm, I guess. I'm just not as worried about it as I thought I'd be. Which is why I'm saying you seem different. Different, huh? Oh. Oof. Amusing to himself and without a word of warning, Case K starts undressing himself as if it were nothing. Yeah. It's like, y'all, water time. Blech. Room temperature, slightly below room temperature water time. My eyes go wide and I freeze. In the time it takes me to look away, he's already pulling his shorts down, giving me a look at his underwear. Holy shit, man, let me know before you pull something like that. Something like what? Without looking in his direction, I merely point my finger towards him. Oh, you mean my clothes? I nod, feeling my face burning incredibly hot. What? I already had trouble dealing with nudity before, and now not only do I know I, do I know I apparently like guys, but the one I'm seeing starts getting naked in front of me? What the hell am I supposed to do with that? I don't know how you can get be so nonchalant with this stuff. <laughs> because it's not a big deal. Come on, you're an athlete. Undressing yourself in the locker room is normal. Not to mention the fact that nudity isn't even a big deal in Japan. Have you ever been to have you never been to a public bath? You've asked me that before. I told you I don't like them. Not liking them is one thing. It doesn't mean you've never been to one. Come on. Not even once. When I was very little, my dad took me one to one, took me to one once. That was the only time. Oh, that sounds hard. That's hard to believe. Even I've been to them several times. I don't know what to tell you. Are, are you dressed yet? No, not yet. I won't be around for too long, though. I shower after practice, remember? Still, it's very cute how you get so embarrassed of this stuff. Sh shut up! I can't help but be conscious of it. There's no way I'd be able to handle that. I have to shower after practice, otherwise I feel all sweaty and gross. Plus, I refuse to go home smelling bad. Yeah, I know that. You and I are just very different people. Nudity is too embarrassing for uh, for me. 
Hmm, I wonder how long that's going to last for. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm gonna go shower now. I'll text you later. Okay. The sound of footsteps walking away from me is nearly deafened by my own pounding heartbeat. Still, I'm unaware that Keisuke is no longer around for the moment. I'm aware that Keisuke is no longer around for the moment. After a little more hesitation, I put my shirt back on and walk out of the building. June 18th. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Be there. Crap, 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 crap. I got a message from Shuichi five minutes ago complaining about my being late. I didn't mean to be late, but I completely lost track of time. By the time I finally reach our scheduled meeting place, everyone else is already there and waiting for me. Even June is here before me. Ah! Hey, someone finally decided to show up. What a miracle. Morning, Yuichi-san. June receives me warmly, despite the overall atmosphere of annoyance around the others. I'm sorry, it's totally my fault. It took way longer making lunch and cleaning the kitchen than I thought I would. I even rushed through my bath trying to get here quicker. And yet you're still 20 minutes late. I tried my best. Now that you mentioned the now that you mentioned the bath thing, your fur does seem a bit damp still. Um, yeah, I didn't have time to dry myself properly. So as long as fur as you have, I'm not even surprised. It must be a nightmare to maintain. It can be. At least you're here now. That's what matters. You're surprisingly calm about this. You're usually the one that's most anal about sticking to schedules. I realized a long time ago, if I tried being that demanding over Yuichi-san, all I'd do is drive myself insane. Hey, are you saying that I'm not good with schedules? The fact that you're here 20 minutes late means I don't have to imply. Huh. <laughs> I know he's not wrong, but I still want to get back at him for this. There, there, Yuichi-san. June gives me a few gentle pats on the shoulder, almost as if he were trying to console me. Are all of you going to be looking down on me now? I would never. Sure, because you're so well behaved. But of course. Keisuke and Shuichi share a fist bump, making me groan a little louder than I meant to. Okay then, Keiken, since you're the one who made the plans for today, what should we do first? Do we head straight for the movie theater, or do we do something in before? We should probably head straight for the theater. I did account for the possibility of people being late, but the session I wanted to watch starts in 30 minutes, so we don't have that much time to spare. You prepared that far in advance? Of course he did. How are you even surprised? Like I said, he's the one who's most anal about making and sticking to plans. Mm. Let me see how much time I have left. One second, y'all. Uh, I should be okay. Alrighty. Like, you have any right to talk? Sure, I also like to have things well-defined beforehand, but I even didn't go to this level. His level. I didn't mention to him before he tends to overplan stuff, but so I don't think you're wrong. That may be true, but I still don't think there's anything wrong with that. I like having solid plans to fall back on. It makes me feel comfortable. I never said there was anything wrong with it. Just said that it's not something that should be surprising anyone at this point. Of course, I also didn't say that there wasn't something wrong with it. So basically, you just didn't say anything. Shuichi pokes the nose. Ooh, excuse me. Shuichi pokes the hare's nose, smiling as if he were so pleased with himself. Exactly. See, I knew you were pretty sharp after all. Do that again, and I bite your finger off. Oh, ho, is that a challenge? Well, uh, things just got really dangerous here all of a sudden. Can you two cut that out? It's way too early to be dealing with this already. Cut what out? We're just having fun, right, Arushihara? I'm serious. Boop me again, and you're dead. Jeez, how over, how over sensitive. You're definitely thinking of booping him again, aren't you? <laughs> I've never been more tempted to do something in my life. Why are you two like this? No, actually, now that I think about it, didn't Keikun tell me during our date that he used to have a serious crush on Shuichi? How did that even work? I can't see it at all. Come on, let's stop tempting death and let's just uh, just get going so we're not late for the movie Keikun picked. Not gonna put up a fight again? Nah, I'm fine with going to a movie. It should be fun. But, but you're the one who kept refusing all my suggestions when we were trying to decide what to do. She did? Yeah, she did. She said going out for the movies wasn't a good way to celebrate because it's too boring and plain and uninvolved. That doesn't mean I can't still enjoy it. You know, I love watching movies. I'll have fun either way. You're way too strange, woman. Hearing you say this after the struggle we went through to even get you to agree to this is very ironic. What? I'm not strange. Just because I wanted something better doesn't mean that I, that this isn't any that this isn't good. I don't even know what to say. Uh, Mizuguchi-san? Why is everyone looking at me like that? Let's just leave. The four of us nod, turning around and walking away towards the direction of the movie theater, leaving Sai gaping behind us. Wait, don't just abandon me! Hey, wait up! Once we get to the movie theater, Kaken is quick to head into the line for tickets, telling us to hand him the money for the tickets and he'd buy them all at, one, all at once to save time. 
No one really bothered to argue since, well, who likes standing in line? As far as I'm concerned, this just saves us some annoyance. Man, they have some pretty interesting things on display right now. Ooh, a new Kung Fu movie came out. I didn't know about that. I need to watch it. Please don't. Hey, last time you watched a martial arts movie, you kept trying to imitate their movements and hitting us at random. I think I have an indentation on my skull where you punched me once. That's... I said I was sorry. I should go without saying, but punching people while wearing a bulky ring probably isn't the best of ideas. Did that actually happen? Yep, three years ago. At this point, I think we've been hit by her so many times that we've developed passive impact resistance. Right? When we were kids, one punch from her was enough to knock me wheezing to the ground. Now it just knocks the wind out of me for a bit. It hurts a ton, don't forget about that. Oh yeah, for sure. You boys are making me sound like I'm really horrible. Your actions are what makes you seem horrible. We're just telling the truth about them. Gah! June hesitantly takes a step back from Saya, hovering a little beyond arm's reach. Junkun, I'm not gonna hit you. Are you sure? I don't think I can handle being punched that hard. Oh my god, this is amazing! Don't laugh! Alright, I'm back. That took longer than I thought it would. Keisuke arrives with our tickets, pausing as soon as he notices the look on everyone's faces. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, and if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye